All right, so look, don't worry, I shower today. But what I wanted to bring up and talk about today, and I will talk about it, you idiot, is this idea that, um, look, when I go to the gym, you know, there, there are plenty of different types of people. There are different types of uh, genders. You know, you've got, um, you've got males, you've got females, you've got uh, uh, badgers, papayas, the list, it goes on and on. Okay, well, what I, what I want to talk about is the ones that uh, periodically bleed. Okay, and, and in specifically, or in uh, one, there, there's this one girl, right? And um, what I've noticed, and I should say woman, I shouldn't say girl. This is, a, this is an older person, right? Not too old, but uh, uh, enough, you know? And I just remember one day seeing her, and you know how there are like fat guys that have... Um, you know, like they, they've got like decent arms, decent legs. Like they're not, they're not too bad. But then they've got a huge like beer belly. You know, like that's that's unattractive. Okay, that's objectively unattractive. Wait, you know what, fellas, y'all need to slim down that beer belly. You know what I'm saying? Enough with the the booze. No more alcohol. Let's get in the gym, do a damn crunch, and uh, let's stop that. But when it comes to women, it just I don't know what it is. It looks really. It looks really weird and kind of bad. I'm going to be honest, it looks bad. You know, specifically with this woman, right? She was um like she was bench pressing, right? And I was like, "Damn. That's kind of impressive considering she probably couldn't even do a, do a gun. She has a huge like hump on her belly." And I'm like, "Jesus Christ, lady, how much alcohol do you consume? This is this is getting dangerously unhealthy. Like she has relatively skinny arms, skinny legs, uh, I don't remember what her, her butt looked like, but I can imagine it didn't look horrible. Um, and I was just thinking like, what's, what's going on here? What's the deal here? We, women, you guys need to stop. Okay. If you guys are looking skinny arms, skinny frame or not skinny frame. In fact, a big frame, if you've got a huge freaking belly, you guys, you guys got to work on that. I'm going to be honest with you. You guys got to like, when she was, I remember when she was done bench pressing, she was clutching onto her belly. Like she just had a chimichanga or something like, Oh, you know what? Maybe she went to a Mexican restaurant and, and went ham, you know, or not ham, but like, like Arnitas or something like that, you know, and, and just ate everything because like I said, her, her stomach was huge. I, I couldn't understand it. And I remember I hadn't seen her at the gym for a long time after that, probably about like five or six, maybe seven months after that, I was like, oh, she fell off the rails. She went, you know, went down the rabbit hole of consuming alcohol. Maybe she started going to buffets a lot more. I don't know what she was doing, but I didn't see her at the gym for a while. And I was like, oh man, the, the media got her. And then, and then I see her, I think like about two or three months after that. And she slimmed down. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh, okay. You know what? We're good. Nice. Because, uh, because that, that looks better now. You know what I mean? Back then, like I said, huge hump, kind of unattractive. And this wasn't an unattractive girl. She had a, she had a pretty face and, uh, people like that. So I just, I didn't understand it. We gotta, we gotta do, you know, you know, a lot of times when, uh, like mothers to be, they have like a huge stomach. It looked kind of like that. Wait, 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 was she pregnant? 